Earthquakes are caused by the movement of the huge tectonic plates that continents sit on. And what happens is they come together, and one, in this case, the Pacific plate, is moving below the Japanese or Eurasian plate. Now, it causes that plate to bend when it sticks there. There'll be a bit too much friction, it'll stick, pressure builds up until suddenly it's released and flick. Have a look at this. Now, this is the tectonic plate that Japan is sat on, and here's the Pacific plate coming down underneath it. Now, normally, they want to move together at about nine centimetres a year, but sometimes they get stuck. And when they get stuck, the energy of the moving together gets translated to strain energy, literally flex and bend in these huge slabs of rock. And that energy builds and builds, and they're flexing and bending more and more. When they finally slip, that stored energy, all that twist and bend in the rock gets released into sudden movement, like that. As you can see, it literally flicks up, moving the ocean floor above it, which moves the ocean, causing a tsunami. So here we've got a bigger submarine version of what's going on. And this gives a representation of what's been happening 24 kilometers below the ocean surface in the Japan Trench. Now these things work in what they call a stick-slip way. Most of the time they're stuck, but occasionally they slip. And that's what an earthquake is. So we've got it here, this, this is bent up here. It's full of pent up energy waiting to slip. Now when the slip happens, that energy gets released into the ocean, causing a series of tsunami waves, moving in both directions across the Pacific. 